Okay, case eight. What's this one? Anyone? It's an inverted follicular keratosis. Bold and correct. Two points. Good job. You got it. Exactly. This is has got keratinocytes and squamous eddies, right? Just like an irritated um, separate keratosis. But it kind of has this uh, downward pushing uh, borders that bulge down into the dermis. Sometimes these can really have almost like a dumbbell shape. They can really push way down a follicle. And um, I feel like they often have some keratinocyte atypia because they're often inflamed and irritated looking. Um, they're often, uh, sometimes they're ulcerated on the top and have a lot of stromal edema and um, an inflammation in the dermis. So I feel like, and uh, they're often transected because they push down. So when they get shaved off by the dermatologist thinking they're going to maybe be a squame or something like that, um, you often don't see the base. So if there's atypia, sometimes I'll mention that, that I see atypia. I think it's reactive, but I don't see the base of the lesion. And if it grows back, do a biopsy again. Um, uh, but if I really favor that it's a, an IFK, I don't, I don't get too hedgy. This one doesn't have much atypia. This looks really nice, and we can see the majority of the lesion. And something that I don't remember being taught, at least, but that I learned in practice over time, is there are two other entities. Well, in, I guess there are three other, I guess, in the differential here. IFK, inverted follicular keratosis, irritated seborrheic keratosis, as we already discussed, but two other things that sometimes can come into this spectrum. One is trichelomoma. Trichelomomas have a warty surface like this, and when they get irritated, they can kind of give this uh, bit of a squamous eddy look, and they have some outer root sheath differentiation, obviously, which is analogous to what you can see in an IFK, which kind of is growing down into a follicle structure or or recapitulating a follicular growth. Either way, you want to think about it. And the other thing um, is clear cell acanthoma. Even though this one doesn't particularly look like it, I've certainly seen cases where I kind of struggled to tell apart clear cell acanthoma, trichelomoma, and inverted follicular keratosis because they all can kind of have these large reedy that are kind of smooth and bulging down, and they all have this kind of pale uh, appearance to them that looks different than the adjacent epidermis. Uh, so I think those are all three benign things um, that can look like one another. And the main thing is that you don't confuse them with a carcinoma. So a uh, nice example of inverted follicular keratosis.